For this one, it says determine the amplitude midline period and an equation involving the sine function. So what is the midline first? The midline is literally this line that goes right through the middle. And that's y equals negative 3. And that's also going to be the same value as our d variable, right? And the amplitude is the distance up from the midline, right? It's also down, but it's the same thing. So the amplitude, it goes up by 2, up and down by 2. So the amplitude is 2. And then the period is how long it takes to cycle, to repeat. So here's the max, here's the max. How long does it take to cycle from max to max? It looks like a distance of 4. So the period is 4. And the cool thing about the starting point on the y-axis is that it's right in the center. So this is your typical sine function, meaning there's no phase shift involved. All right, let's, let's put it together. So we start with the amplitude of 2. That goes right at the beginning. Since it's going up to the right, we don't need a negation. We don't need anything like that. So it's just 2 sine. Since the period is 4, we set that equal to 2 pi over b, and we solve for b. That's how we'll get the coefficient in front of the x, val x variable here. So multiply by b divided by 4. b equals 2 pi over 4, which is the same as pi halves. So now we have pi over 2 times x. That'll give us that nice period of 4, okay? And then we need this negative 3, minus 3, and that gives us the midline. So this is the equation. Boom. Done.